The impeachment trial of suspended Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton taking a different tone today. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5 on this Friday afternoon. I'm Brian May, And I'm Jenny Lee. Ashley Godot is on assignment. Within the past 30 minutes, the court of impeachment adjourned. Now, jurors ended the day by hearing from David Maxwell, the former director of law enforcement for the Attorney General's office. He is one of the eight former employees who reported Paxton to the FBI. KVU's Ford Sanders joins us live from the state capitol. And Ford Maxwell, a former Texas Ranger, whose work earned him a place in the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame. He is, and Maxwell's responses today are about as direct as you can get. Well, before Maxwell hit the stand, both the prosecution and defense had their final questions of Ryan Vassar. The defense hammered the former deputy attorney general for legal counsel on texts he exchanged with coworkers, joking about being called a rogue employee and being fired from the AG's office. You write hashtag sole survivor. What does that mean? Um, I'm not sure if it was referring to the, the tweet that I was referencing. It, it could have been an indication that I was the last remaining whistleblower who was still employed by the office. Let's get to David Maxwell, the former director of law enforcement for Pax's office, was next to take the stand. He remained calm as he told the jurors he thought Austin real estate investor Nate Paul was a criminal and that Paxson should cut all ties with him. For the first time in this trial, we actually heard what Nate Paul thought the FBI had done to him. He had complaints about uh, the procedural part that the FBI took when they were securing the scene and conducting the searches. And then he laid out a, his conspiracy theory that they had originally come to search for not records, but for drugs and guns. And that in the middle of the search, when they didn't find any drugs and guns, they then altered the search warrant to be the search warrant that was executed where it was for records. Maxwell called these allegations absolutely ludicrous and went on to say there was no evidence of a crime. He remained straightforward when the defense questioned him and held to the fact that there was nothing to investigate. Now they have wrapped for the day, but the impeachment trial is expected to kick back off Monday at 9 a.m. Live from the Texas State Capitol, Ford Sanders, KVU News. Ford, thank you very much for that. KVU anchor and managing editor of political content, Ashley Godot, and Tony Plahetsky, senior reporter, joining us from the KVU Plus studio this afternoon. Ashley and Tony, you guys have been monitoring this trial from start to finish every day. What stands out to you? Well, many things I think stand out to us, but we are joined by Brad Vinson, a local Austin attorney. We thank you for taking some time out to, to sit with us this course, afternoon for the trial. And Brad, uh, David Maxwell was the first non-lawyer witness we heard. What were your impressions of his testimony? I thought it was powerful. It was direct. It was simple. It was honest and sincere. I, I think that they ended very memorably by ending with him as a witness today. And strategy, as we talked about, in terms of having attorney, attorney, attorney ending on a very salt of the earth, straight right. shooter, experienced law enforcement officer. I, I think it all speaks to the theme of the House Committee, which is why would all these people who are government servants, who dedicated their lives to service, to who cared about the office, who cared about the Attorney General, why would they come forward with such serious accusations unless they were true? Did you think the defense landed any punches in their attempt to cross-examine Maxwell? Not with Mr. Maxwell. I don't think they got anything out of him. I think the theme was that they were trying to get that he was the seasoned law enforcement officer. He knew all the things that you're supposed to do with a proper investigation. And the idea was, well, why didn't you? And he said his response was because an investigation in this scenario would have meant that we were committing crimes. Yeah. Brad Vinson, Austin attorney, thank you so thank much you. for helping us break down all of these issues. Of Testimony resumes at 9 a.m. sharp on Monday morning. Brian and Jenny. We'll all be watching. Mm -hmm. Ashley, Tony, and Brad, thank you very much for joining us here on the news at 5 today. And of course, you can watch each day of the impeachment trial on KBU.com, the KBU YouTube channel, and KBU Plus. We are carrying the trial in its entirety and providing expert analysis from KBU Managing Editor of Political Content Ashley Godot and Senior Reporter Tony Plahetsky.